Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Tim. Today we're going to be doing a walk around video of our 2011 Volkswagen Passat. In this video we're going to walk around the outside of the car, go through the quality of the vehicle for you, then we're going to sit inside, have a look at the quality of the interior and run through some of the features you can get with this car. Right, so starting on the outside of the car, being the Volkswagen Passat, this is the 2011 shape and it does look quite nice and sleek still. It's stood up quite well over the last few years and the Passat hasn't evolved as much so it is still quite a modern looking car. Across the front here we do have colour coded front parking sensors as well as our headlights here do have a bit of black in behind the chrome to really go along with the blacks and chrome styling across the front of the car. These chrome lines across the front really give the rounded shape of the Passat a nice sharp edging look which is quite good to see. Down here we do have a fog light with a bit more chrome to stand out from the black and a nice chrome strip along the whole front of the car. Now as for stone chips in the front of this car, there are a couple of minor stone chips that have been touched up. You can only really see them if you get in nice and close, but otherwise it, it does present very well. And this silver colour is a brilliant silver that Volkswagen has brought out on this car. Don't know how well it's going to show up on the camera, but we do have a really nice sparkle in there when the sunlight hits it. Really breaking up, it's just not a flat silver, it's a really nice sparkly metallic silver. And Volkswagen's done very well with the styling of this car, the breaking up of the silver and black with the chrome goes along really nice. Moving now to our front tyre. We do have practically brand new tyre on, on here, like really deep tread, I'd argue that is a brand new tyre. And on this first alloy rim, there is no scuff mark whatsoever, which is really good to see, and that rim presents very, very well. Colour-coded side mirror caps here with your built-in side indicator. A little bit of a chip here on the side of the mirror, but nothing else to be too concerned about there. Along the top of the car, we've got little uh, roof rails, chrome with a bit of black to help break it up. We've got chrome around the outside of our dark tinted windows. Like I said, the whole silver, black and chrome theme is just really present throughout the whole car. Colour coded uh, door handles here down the side and no real marks along the side of the car that I can see, which is very, very good. A little bit dusty because it is outside and we do have some construction going on behind us. But otherwise, as far as marks go, there's nothing really going on here. Looking at this other wheel, once again, practically brand new tyre. There is a little bit of scuffing here, I'll show you. It's probably as long as my finger here and down here as well but it's not too bad into the into the rim and uh, it does actually present quite nicely which is very good to see being a 2011 car it is consistent with the, with the age of the vehicle moving around the back here we've got our rear tail lights which do bend around the back of the car here being nice and red we've got a little strip in here for the reverse lights it really stands out quite well we've got our color-coded reverse parking sensors as well when we open up the boot of this car inside here we do have the privacy cover as well as the secondary one down here as well and we do have carpet mats with the back of this car as for marks inside the boot there's very minimal which i can see which is very good uh, for a, a car of this age uh, presents quite well just move the mats out of the way lift up the handle under here we do have a full size alloy spare wheel and you can still see the lines on the tread so it's never been fitted to the car and your tools are also kept in under here as well i'll point out this does have quite a nice reinforced bottom floorboarding as well now we'll close this and move back around to the passenger side here so around on this side we've got our third wheel once again practically brand new tire with no scuffing on that wheel whatsoever which is also very good to see so so far two of the three have got no scuffing with the other one having very minor scuffing moving down the car itself there are a couple of hairline scratches here on the door a little mark there blemish but like i said i'm trying to be picky for you to really stand like point things out a couple more stone chips down here on the driver's door overall presents very well nice chrome strip along the bottom here to help break up the silver once again on the side mirror built-in indicator with a color code mirror cap with another little blemish just on the outside but nothing too too much going on there practically brand new tire now look here at the last rim we got a little bit of scuffing here about half the length of my finger and over here about the size of my pinky not much else going on there this car does present very very well now i'm going to pop the bonnet of the car we're going to have a look at the engine bay and we're going to have a look at the diesel uh, powerhouse that is driving this car along very efficient very safe it's typical of what you'd expect from a Volkswagen Passat. So just lift up here, you do have the nice hydraulic strut and look how clean the engine bay is under here. It has been very well maintained, very well looked after. And like I said, just a nice diesel engine that goes along with this car. This is a two litre four cylinder engine, which produces 125 kilowatts or 350 Newton meters of torque. With the six speed automatic dual clutch gearbox behind it and a 70 litre tank, we can expect a fuel consumption of around 5.7 litres per 100 k's or an average fuel tank di distance of, from a full tank of fuel of 1,228 kilometres, which is quite good for a car like this. So safe, very fuel efficient. This does have a five star ANCAP safety rating and eight airbags.
looking at the interior of our 2011 Volkswagen Passat, this car does have a lot of features. Uh, I'm going to run through them now, and the quality of this car does present just as well as the exterior of the car. So I'll start at my right and work our way across. Over here on the armrest, we've got once again that black and chrome feature throughout the interior of the car with a bit of brushed silver and a nice leather armrest here with our side mirror adjustment control and full electric window control with child lock. Moving the wheel to the right, we do have our headlight control just here with automatic headlights, which is very handy. We do have two keys. I'll point out the starting system for this car is you've got a little slot for your key and you push the key in and the car will start up you don't actually have to turn anything or press a separate button just put the key in and start it and it will fire up being a European built car we do have our front and rear rinse screen wipers on the right hand control arm and our headlight and the uh, indicators sorry on here on the left just by that we got a third control arm for our uh, cruise control settings on the steering wheel itself it is a nice leather wrapped steering wheel really designed well to fit in the hands Volkswagen do really well with their interior comfort and the steering wheel is no exception to that big uh, nice big T-bar design with our Bluetooth and media controls here on the left and our menu settings for in the inside of our cluster here on the right. Moving now to the centre of the car, we've got this nice brush metallic across the whole way around the car. It does continue through the door trims as well with a nice analogue clock right here in the middle. We've got our touchscreen media unit here. So we just go media, we got our radio and our phone controls all built in right there which is very good to see we do have a nice cd player here across the top moving just down from that we've got our dual zone climate controls with seat warmer buttons nice hard buttons to use there just a nice dial to use it comes up on the screen as well within arm's reach very pleasant don't have to divert too much attention away from the road just under here we've got a little bit of storage with a 12 volt uh, socket just here and moving down from that we do have our uh, automatic dsg uh, dual clutch shifter just here moving down into drive you can pop you got sports mode or you can go into drive and go sideways and then go into manual mode as well which is very good to see we've got our electric handbrake here as well as our traction control parking sensors and auto stop start control just there now moving just down from that we do have our cup holders just set up here in the middle two cup holders with adjustable size sizes so you can have smaller cans and it will clamp onto them and hold it in there nice and tight which is good to see and you can also remove them completely by playing with this button as well got a leather wrapped center console and then just in here we got a nice deep amount of storage and as I was playing with it before I noticed that if you put it down it closes all the way or you can actually get it to uh, to lock into place it's not going to do it now that I'm on the video but I was just playing with it before with nice feature if you do have something in there that you don't want the lid constantly slamming shut on now I'm going to get my camera person to pan around the interior of the car show you the quality of the leather seats in the front there is a little bit of wear on them but nothing more than what you'd expect from a 2011 car the carpets are in perfect condition because of those carpet mats and I'll also get them to show you a little bit of how the back and the roof lining looks as well. I'm going to have a look at the service history for us while the camera person does that. Now this car has done 41,600 Ks, so the service history would be pretty spot on uh, for kilometres which is good to see. First service was completed uh, at 8,600, then 15.5, 21, 20,100, I'd like to make that specific, 27,900, and then 41,600 completed by us. So you actually don't have to spend any money on servicing the car anytime soon. It's not due for another service until 50,000 Ks. Uh, it also doesn't need any new tyres, as you saw. The body's in very good condition, and it's very comfortable to sit in. Diesel, fuel economic, safe. There's not much more you'd want from a car. So I'd like to take this time to thank you for watching our walk around video of our 2011 Volkswagen Passat. If you have any questions, please give us a call on 9907 and one of our friendly staff will be happy to help with your inquiry. Sorry.